What's going on everyone? This is a cruel one here and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a install of a lower third on your OBS. Uh, I'm going to make this tutorial very quick and if you have any questions or if you run into any problems please feel free to comment down below. But without further ado, let's begin. Alright guys, so the first step we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to this URL and I'll post the link in the description of this video. And we can see that the creator of this tool is no AL. So thank you, no, for this uh, free tool that we can use. And so what you want to do is you're going to want to click download. And you should be able to download a zip file called animated lower third. It was shown in the folder, animated lower third to 1.6. So after that, you're going to want to extract all. And you should be prompted this window if you're using Windows 11. And if you click browse, you can go to your C drive, scroll down, go to program files, scroll all the way down until you see OBS Studio. Click on that. And you're just going to want to actually click on OBS Studio, select folder, and that's where we want this to go. So we're going to show extracted files when complete, extract. And of course, I need to view my admin privileges. And so I'm going to let that extract on over. And here we can see lower thirds is now in our OBS studio. So it's very important that it follows this file path from this PC to C drive to program files, OBS studio, and then anime lower thirds. And you can see all our files here. So I'm going to stop this part right here and I'm going to continue on to the next part. All right, guys. So now we are going to install our control panel. So if you go to the top left corner and you see docs, click on that go to custom browser docs and for the doc name let's call it lower third from here we're going to go to our file explorer go to our c drive go to program files scroll down to obs studio go to animated lower thirds lower thirds and then now we have our control panel here so i'm going to open this with microsoft edge and as you can see, we have the main settings and we have four lower third options available. And this is what's going to be inside our dock on OBS. So what we're going to do is we're going to control C this link. We're going to head back to our OBS and paste our link in the URL section and click apply. And now you can see our lower third dock is available. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide this thing in right next to our sources. And there we go. Now we got a functioning lower third dock. So now I'm going to close this out and now we're going to go and work on our sources. So what we're going to do now to install our sources, we are going to go down here, click the plus sign, go to browser, and we're going to call this lower third just to keep it uniform. From here we're going to click OK. And we're going to erase the URL and we're going to go back to our file explorer, go to browser source. I'm going to open this in Microsoft Edge. Copy the link, control C, minus that, minus this. Paste the link in the URL, scroll down. You can get rid of all this. This is unnecessary. Check mark, shut down source, and refresh browser. Scroll down. We are good. And click OK. So now this little red square is where we are going to see our lower third on OBS. So now that we got this functioning, we can go ahead and click main settings. In order for the lower third to work, main settings has to be checked. Additionally, if you want your lower third to show, because if you see, if we click lower third right now, it's going to show a red square. That means it's not functioning. But if it's highlighted blue, that means it is. And what I had problems with earlier was that I would type something in the name. For example, I'll type in my name. And when I was trying to do so, nothing was appearing. And I was like, I wonder why that is. And that's because I didn't type anything in the info. So I'll just put intro. And there you have it. The crawling intro, your logo here. Now there's very, um, there's multiple things you can do with this. Uh, you can customize if you want to have a logo image there or not, you can change on the sides where you want it to appear. 
can appear from the right, it can appear from the left. You can change the size of the lower third. And you can also change the color, the background, and there's different styles of it. So if you want to change it up to something different, you totally can. So this is style two. You can see it looks completely different compared to style one. Then we got style three. But alrighty, this is the end of this video. I hope this video helps you um, create a lower third in OBS. And if you guys have any feedback, please let me know in the comments and how we can improve from here. I uh, never really made a tutorial video on this channel. So um, thank you guys so much for listening. And if you guys do run into any issues, please feel free to comment again. And I'll try my best to help you guys out. And we can all help each other out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll catch you in the next video.